Hi, this is Susan Levin Tarot. This reading is going to be for Aquarius. Aquarius. Let's see what's going on. Whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> okay. All right, me talks. Okay, netcaster preparations come to fruition. Mini mass. Benefactor. Okay. Okay, that goes with that. <laughs> okay okay first and foremost if you feel like the world has not been supportive this is this card is for you in the hand the universe is your partner okay so um the universe and it looks like a heart emanating here uh, and there is also healing power in your hands. Okay, so the thing is, we can always ask, right? Okay, for assistance. But the key is, uh, spirit is a subtle energy. They don't uh, push their way through uh, if they're that positive energy. It's more like a subtle energy that, that flows, right? Okay. So, with that said, you can always ask uh, for assistance. And so, I feel like... For some of you, your emotional state has caused things to happen in your reality that you don't realize... So the key is to get a handle on uh, your emotions and learn how to uh, raise yourself from past trauma so that you don't keep repeating it in the new relationships I see right here. Now, some of you haven't reached this point in this new relationship, this new marriage, these uh, new unions. Um and uh, there's nothing holding you back. There's nothing you have to do. It's right here. The thing is, um, if things keep and things and cycles keep repeating itself, and it's like uh, same cycle, different face then you might want to uh, kind of take that pause, that deep, quiet meditation and stillness and kind of come into alignment. This is me talks with your body, mind, and spirit. All right. So, oh, here we go. So it says netcaster preparations uh, come to fruition. So that's what I'm saying. It's here right now. Okay. And then straddling worlds, wandering between realms. Okay, so. I feel like these two go together. Many mass and the authentic self. I think. Well, it could be. It depends on what vibration you are. If you're low vibing, this many mass is not showing the true you. Now, if you're in this violet ray, uh, this authentic mini mass is could potentially be that shape shifting energy to um, go into different realms. Okay, why? Why would you be doing that? Okay, because you're assisting with 
that um, kind of leading edge energy, that territory that nobody's uh, been in, and you're uh, pulling for expansion is uh, the thing that I see. Okay, and so, um, so people may not understand it and may not even understand your energy. So um, it may not be for them to understand. It may be for just you to be you, right? And not uh, don't put into the mix uh, what they think they're seeing, right? Okay. <laughs> Benefactor, grace and generosity. And I feel like this is part of the like, altruistic stuff that's been going on um, in this energy, that kind of um, humanitarian energy. It's right here in the cards, too. Okay. All right. So notice how this these little things <laughs> are in their bliss, right? And they're um, on mushrooms. So I feel like um, happiness and joy, right? That's your natural state. There's nothing to have to really reach it, reach for. I don't think every day you have that potential to be the natural, happy, joyful you. And then uh, people with their minds start doing stuff, right? Okay, so for some of you, that might be like reishi mushrooms. I'm getting red mushrooms, so that might be reishi mushrooms. Uh, of course, follow your own guidance when it comes to herbal stuff. Okay, meditate. Okay, hollow bone teachability. Some of you will be teachers here. Coming up. Okay. And now the teaching contracts for some places are going to be different than uh, they're, they're always changing now with the C thing and everything else. So make sure you take a good look at the um, details of that. Okay. Now then we have covenant, sacred contract, and okay. So for some of you, um, this is like a night energy coming in. Okay, so uh, let's see. Some of you, it's a past life person. Um, now, with that said, since uh, contracts... Um, made in the non-physical can be expanded on okay they don't have to remain in that uh you know stone uh tablet right it could be crystal tablet it, it could be uh ex expanded on okay so uh there's that message okay and Okay, so this person that's coming in that you're getting married to, it, uh, I feel like it's going to change your world. It's like ribbons in the sky I'm getting. Okay, so um, just be open to change. Be ready. Okay. All right, is this a marriage, I wonder? So let's look into, I want to look into this uh, contract and the uh, Herald of Change because I feel like this is a marriage. Okay, we know that the universe is your partner. There was something else I wanted to look into. I think it was, was it this one? Yeah, see, netcaster, preparations come to uh, fruition. So for some of you, it's already here. It's just waking up to it. See how in this card, uh, there's like, it's like here in your crown, it's here. 
and uh, then you will see it in the physical reality. The vortex will flow. Wow, this is interesting. Okay, so a lot of times I see beings like this, like in the sky, and it's like many, many, uh, it's not just like two here, but there's like many, many um, energies. Okay, so let's see. Um, hmm. Okay, where was that? Okay, so let's just dig into that one. And that probably will, I might look into that real quick. Okay, so you've got the world, the three of Gabriel, prosperity arising from wise planning, time to take the next step, optimistic plans that turn out as expected. That's the key, being optimistic. Very happy ending, coming full circle. Spiritual growth and insight. Okay, and then here's the wheel. New beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. Some of you might be with a Capricorn, or maybe that's like um, placements there, because uh, that came up in the Capricorn energy. Okay, so, all right, so let's see here. Okay, so Ace of Michael and Seven of Raphael. So that's like healing too, Raphael. Okay, the Archangel. Okay, so a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. Clear, concise communication. Time to make decision. Be clear on what you want and take action. A need for detox. That's three cards you got, detox. Okay, so clear out that mind and do what you need to do, right? Okay, so because your blessings are here and they're they're ready for you, okay? All right, so let's I want to look into this a little bit. Do we have time? Oh, it might have already started another video. <laughs> okay, let's see. I want to see what this is about. Okay. The thing that I see here is you have to release the idea of enemy or release the idea that people are out to get you or release the idea of people doing things to you. Okay, how do we do that? Okay, so if you experience some kind of trauma and you didn't fully learn from it or release it, then it can keep coming up. Okay, those kinds of experiences uh, so that it can help you to release it fully once and for all. Okay, so um, if, you, if that rings a bell, uh, that's it's time to uh, start with a new canvas 
Okay. That's what I would work on. Because your things are here. It's I see them. They're here. And the thing is... Um, and I see you overcoming here. Yeah. I see you overcoming. Okay, so... There will be the release. But, um... Because, and I'll tell you why, because if you feel like someone's out to get you, that's fear, okay? That fear will hold your vibration in a, in a certain attracting point. So what you have to do is release that and release the idea of it. At least get to neutral, okay? And in that way, even if it's family members, you know, uh, you just have to uh, not let... Those kinds of things get you down, and we're human, so we go through it, but allow a certain period and then let it go, because that will affect what shows up in the physical reality. So, um, and then fear is also stress in the body, and so you got detox, metox, and, uh, you know, stillness. Those are three cards of connection. Needing to connect. Okay, so. Um, and here you, you have overcome. And there's two of wands. You taking action steps. Okay, so that's nice. And I feel like here the straddling world is uh, the duality you've been experiencing for some of you. Okay, when you're, you know you are this uh, person that's high-vibing and still choosing those things, right? But that's part of the human experience, so, it's, you know, so be it. And then release. And then Eight of Cups. Yeah, here it says, gives consolation to adversity. Right, so it's like, you're not letting go of love. You're letting go of the experiences that are unpleasing, right? And that uh, you feel like are hindering your joy. So the key is to move in your bliss and keep the love within you. Don't let go of the love too, because then, uh, then that's a lot more work there involved. Okay, four cups, you holding on. Yeah, and this is like also not feeling, I'm um, getting and not feeling a sense of safety. Okay, so yeah, this is the thing. Loyalty comes to you when you give loyalty, okay? Through your energy showing that being that expressing that then that comes to you but you can't be over here and then uh expect that okay well you can't expect it but most likely because of the laws that are kind of set in motion here uh the thing that is magnetized to you uh, will come, right? What's in your thoughts. Okay, so we have to release the idea of traitors and enemies and uh, those kinds of things. And I feel like that will bring you the ultimate success here. Yep. Victory. <laughs> King of Swords. <laughs> okay grants victory and protection from lightning okay so that's the thing all right so um you move your electric waters okay 
and electric fire um, in a positive way in your thoughts and action. And then that's what must manifest. And I leave you with that, Aquarius.